Oh, hello again, you extraordinary, extraordinary subscribers. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. Hope everyone is enjoying their summer. This video this week will not be the normal debuting new properties, discussing new properties, blah, 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 so much as it will be uh, a little bit of catch up, a little bit of updates, what's going on here at the North American offices of Hemingway Land, number one, and number two, what is to come in the weeks ahead. So uh, those of you who are alert about these sorts of things will notice that we haven't debuted any properties uh, in the last couple of weeks on the website. On the website being the operative uh, phrase here. In fact, we have properties that we are listing with realtors in other states. Had the disembodied voice of Hemingway Land been a little more prescient about these things at the time we were getting the website redesigned, we probably would have created other state pages or some kind of like you know, one size fits all, properties being listed in places besides five states. But every time uh, we buy something in, say, Virginia, we want to list it, it's a whole to-do. So I'm just listing them with realtors, number one. Number two, guys, also it should be noted these are very expensive properties, uh, mid, mid six figures, we'll say. And uh, I don't know that we have an audience for mid six figure properties in Virginia on our West Coast website. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever the case, guys, fingers, toes, and eyeballs crossed. Those properties sell toot sweet, mucho pronto. Uh, but in the meantime, I figured I would uh, update you guys on some things going on around here and then discuss some new properties. So first off, guys, uh, we've gotten one, boy, I want to say like one or two people have observed this. But uh, for the rest of you, I will alert you to the fact that we have recently partnered with Landio. Uh, and some of our listings are appearing on the Landio website. If you're not familiar with Landio.com, they too. They, too, sell a property online. Uh, though recently I feel like they are perhaps graduating away from that business model a little bit to um, list properties for third parties, realtors, investors, so on and so forth. I, guys, am an investor. And thus, uh, we have been partnering with them, or if you will, paying to advertise a little bit on their website. So if you have noticed some of our properties appearing there in New Mexico and Colorado, that is the reason why. Additionally, I will also say this, guys, the um, place that we normally advertise properties has become, like, ridiculous, like, grossly expensive in recent months and years. Things that used to be like, oh, that's reasonable. And by, by the way, people, for the most part, I get a bill, I just look at it and go, hey, yeah, okay, just pay it, whatever. So it really takes a lot. It really takes a giant and unreasonable price increase for me to go, what? They want how much? They want what now? And thus, we are looking for secondary and tertiary, tertiary ways to advertise properties, blah, blah, blah. That, people, is topic number one. Topic number two, we've got properties going live in a new West Coast state coming up on the website in the weeks ahead. For the seven of you who follow us on the Instagram, and by the way, guys, we're on the Instagram. Internet's best kept secret, I know. But if you go to uh, whatever thing my uh, video editor is flashing on the website right now, you will find this, our Instagram page, where you will see that we have properties coming up in... The Beaver State. I can't believe it still has that nickname. But yes, the Beaver State, Oregon, coming up in the weeks ahead. We're getting an Oregon page currently designed and programmed for the website, which I was assured was go. Oh, this is easy. Oh my god, this is super easy, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna have this one done. No time. So if that is the case, then the properties will be going live starting next week. But don't quote me on that, guys. Don't don't quote me on that. Anyway, uh, whatever the case, when we do start to roll out properties in that new state, I will be back, as I have promised, uh, here on the YouTube channel, introducing these things, discussing them in some detail, blah, blah, blah. And uh, finally, guys, more exciting news. Topic number three is a bulk acquisition that some of you will recall me discussing October of last year has finally come to fruition. On the day that I am recording this video, we finally, finally, finally got the entity that we were purchasing the properties from to sign the deeds. It was a whole long to-do, which you can imagine, because it's been going on for nine months now. Uh, and I'll discuss that more in the weeks ahead. Whatever the case, we are buying 410 parcels, uh, which when you combine the adjacents will shake out to 150, 150 new listings in a region we have never previously before bought, listed, or sold land in. Never is uh, not entirely true. We, like, once or twice, but never with any, you know, serious, <clears throat> never with any serious efforts. Whatever the case, guys, I think you guys are really going to like this region, and uh, I'm hoping to have those properties live on the website by the week of August 30th, 
hoping we'll see there's a lot of work that goes into that particularly because the region is so massive it occupies about 47,000 acres is about 200,000 parcels total and so it is a giant region that we need to get photographed and do videos for and create 150 listing pages and so on and so forth but that should be coming uh again by the end of the summer so things to look forward to anyway guys with all that said going to do some new things this week in the video starting off with Special thanks, special thanks to all our valued customers. Oh, people, it's been a while since I've done this. It's been a while since we've done special thanks. So uh, in the interest of time and efficiency, we will restrict this only to buyers from, let's say, the last four weeks, basically, basically the month of July. All right, here we go. Starting off in Colorado, more specifically Costia County, Carolina. Carolina purchased some land from us in the Sangre Cristo Ranches, one of those new properties we recently listed. So special thanks to her for that. Should be noted, guys, we've been uh, listing a lot of good stuff in Colorado recently. It may actually cause me to do a Colorado listing recap or some kind of video uh, soon, eventually. I don't know. But we've had a lot of good stuff going live out there. And uh, specifically, this Sangre de Cristo Ranches subdivision, really, really pretty. I was surprised when we got the photos back. Of course, all of Colorado is very lovely. We usually get very nice photos of Colorado. But this subdivision in particular, I was struck by, wow, look at that. I didn't expect it to be that nice. Anyway, so check those out, guys. Anyway, moving south into Nuevo Mexico, more specifically, Taos County sold some land to Daniel, Michael, and Jen, all returning customers, bought some land from us out there in the Ranchos de Taos subdivision. Special thanks to them. Moving south yet again into Valencia County, sold some land to Leon, Robert, and Genevieve, who are related. I'm not entirely certain how they're related. Brother, sister, father, daughter, I don't know, but they recently purchased some land from us out there. Special thanks to them. Returning customer Vicky bought some land from us out there, and it should be noted, guys, that uh, Martha... Martha quickly has become one of the Hemingway Land All-Stars in the last roughly 45, 60 days because Martha not only bought a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of properties from us in the Rio Grande Estates subdivision, but she also got members of her family, Gabriel and Jessica, to buy a bunch, a bunch of properties from us out there. So the whole family has been buying land in one specific chunk of Rio Grande Estates, and uh, they've personally purchased a lot of the inventory that we had out there from that bulk acquisition we released in April. So special, very special thanks to all of those fine and delightful people. All right, so while we are not debuting any new listings on the website this week, I did want to take some time to discuss some properties which were posted over the last few weeks and which are still in inventory as of the time I'm recording this. And I do this, people, because I made the mistake of debuting some of these in an email blast that no one saw which came out on July 5th. Every year I tell myself not to do that. Every year I do that. No one sees it. Maybe I'll learn my lesson in the eighth year of the business. Who knows? Whatever the case, that week included some of the following properties. Starting off in Luna County, we have this half acre lot in the Deming Ranchette subdivision listed for 1950. Now, this property is a bit of an anomaly for us because I don't normally like to list half acre lots out here. As you guys know, if you're going to develop property in this region, it really behooves you to have a full acre of land. Additionally, if I were going to sell a half acre lot out here, in most cases I try to keep it under $1,000. That said, this property actually sits very close to development. How close, you ask? Well, about five miles south of Deming proper. And as you guys know, lots this close to development are not things we normally get in this region. So I figured it was worth a shot and one of you would be interested. Now, Couple things to know about this property. As we note in the miscellaneous tab on the listing page, we elected not to get this property photographed and instead use screen captures of Google Street View to represent the land. So if you go to the bottom of the page, you will see this is not our typical high quality photography. And uh, perhaps some of you are asking, Hemingway, why, why? Why are you so lazy? Here's the thing, people. I can't get a property photographed for less than $500. If I bought land a block from where my photographer lived in Albuquerque, it would still be at least that much. So getting the guy to drive 230 miles one way to shoot a property while still trying to keep the price of that property under $2,000 simply not going to happen. And thus, people, thus, we elected to use Google Street View. Fortunately, guys, this property is in such a developed area, Google can actually get a car down the road to take pictures. So... I feel these are pretty good representations of the land. Whatever the case, as you can see from the photos, this one has paved roads, power, and underground utilities at the lot line, and a number of home sites have been built up around it. 
And as an added bonus, guys, if you elect to purchase this property from us and did want to try expanding your property boundaries so you can build, we will provide for you names and mailing addresses of the surrounding lot owners so as you can contact them independently and either buy from them directly or perhaps sell this one for a profit. Next up, also listed during the July 4th weekend, this half-acre property in the Ranchos de Taos subdivision in Taos County. And as you guys know, these things typically, typically sell overnight, but lucky for you, since it appears no one know we listed it, there is still this one on the site weeks later. Whatever the case, uh, this is one of five Taos County listings that we put out that week, which included a single lot listing, a second half acre, and two one acre listings. And as you guys know from my numerous video dissertations on the topic, this entire subdivision consists entirely of quarter acre parcels, and thus it is difficult, very, very difficult, guys, to find adjacent acreage out here totaling even a half acre of land, much less the coveted three quarters of an acre or one whole acre in total. And while this half acre lot does not meet that coveted threshold, it will provide you with more land than any of your neighbors have. Additionally, because the zoning out here is so lax it borders on non-existent, you will still have the ability to use the land for extended camping and RV trips, as well as building the types of structures difficult to get permitted elsewhere, such as tiny homes, shipping containers, and earth ships, common and popular throughout this area. Additionally, it should be noted that the subdivision is located here, just five minutes outside Taos proper, and within easy, people, easy driving distance, some of the best skiing in America, the Taos Ski Valley. Next up, a property that we did not list during the July 4th holiday, but which I feel you guys might have missed, simply because it's been on and off the website for the last few months. In fact, yes guys, this one here in Socorro County keeps going under contract, and then the buyer backs out, or as in one case, ceases all communication and drops off the planet. Whatever the case, this is a really, really good one, which I think you guys are going to like, in the Valle de Manana subdivision. And because I haven't talked this one to death in the past, I will reintroduce the area anew. Here we go. So, the subject property is located in Valle de Manana, a rural subdivision located halfway between Belen in the east and Magdalene in the south, and occupying roughly this area you see here. Of course, there is no HOA out here, and because it's Socorro County, there is also no county-wide zoning, meaning that there is even more opportunity to develop the land however you like. Additionally, guys, given the rural nature of the subdivision, you're going to have a lot of extra privacy to live however you like as well. Now, here's the thing, people. The knock, if you will, against this region is that because it is rural, it can be a little hard to access. Of course, all the properties out here have legal access, and the roads have been platted, but they don't get traffic very often, and thus it could be a little challenging. Additionally, while there are utilities out here, they do not go up and down every road in the region. They do not touch every parcel. Fortunately, check this out, guys. The subject property is located right off County Road 12, one of only two major county-maintained roads that run through this area, which gives you not only an easy road out to your land, but also a straight shot into the two nearby towns I mentioned earlier. But also, guys... Because it is located so close to the county road, that also means there are power and underground utilities running along the same road, and thus, right by the property line. This, of course, will make it a lot easier to get utilities connected on the subject property, meaning that it is the rare lot in this region to offer both easy access as well as utilities. And it should be noted, guys, we've sold probably about a dozen lots in this region over the last two years. This, I would say, is probably the second best property we've ever had out here because of its location and these amenities. So what you're seeing here is not common for the region. And thus, if you are interested in it, I would encourage you to act sooner rather than later. Finally, guys, I want to direct your attention down here to our Valencia County listings. At the time that I'm recording this, we still have 36 properties in inventory in Rio Grande Estates of various sizes and locations. Now, the way the website is currently set up, and I'm hoping to get this kind of modified over the next month as before we list 150 properties in one subdivision, but the way it's currently set up, guys, is that everything is arranged by price, lowest to highest. And when you have, whatever, six listings in a county, they're easy to navigate. But when you have 36 listings, it becomes a little harder for people to find the real hidden gems amongst them. And if you scroll, scroll, scroll down here on the page to the end of the Valencia County listings, you'll see this property for 15000 But one above it is the last property we have for sale in Rio Grande Estates, which is also our largest and hence our most expensive. And that's the one I want to talk about today because I do feel this is a good one that has gone unnoticed. So if you go back up here to our Rio Grande Estates Master Information page, click on this and scroll down to our list of properties. The second to last one on the list is this one. Unit S, Block 1229, Lots 3 through 8, and 34 through 37. Each one is a half-acre parcel, there's 10 of them, and thus, 
they combine to form five acres of land. And from here, you can go to that property's listing page where, amongst other things, we can see an outline of how all these parcels combine together on the map and that they have legal access on both northern and southern boundaries. Now, this one is located in the eastern part of the sub, and thus it's pretty removed, there's not a lot of utilities, and the roads don't get trafficked much. That said, I mentioned this one because it is a really large collection of lots. It's the kind of thing that's not easy to find in really any part of the subdivision, number one, but more importantly, number two, I know there's a lot of you who like to buy in this area irrespective of location simply because you are trying to recombine lots and if that does describe you this is definitely one you'll want to take a look at. With all that said, going live on the website hopefully next week, I believe it'll be next week, our first property's in Oregon. Check back then to learn more. Until such a time, thanks as always for watching people, have a great seven days and we'll see you back here in our next video.